Russian airstrikes on Ukraine appear to be escalating in the past 24 hours. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda is live with the latest developments, including a warning from President Biden that the Kremlin may be plotting cyber attacks against the U.S. Carlos? That's right. And the State Department is also investigating reports that Ukrainian citizens are forcibly being moved to Russia. And officials say that would be mistreatment of civilians. This comes as there are also signs that Russian forces are getting bogged down. Overnight, more airstrikes on Kyiv, again hitting civilian sites. A shopping mall was hit, killing at least eight, a number of people rescued from the rubble. Earlier in the day, a Russian missile strike devastating another apartment building in a residential neighborhood. The mayor of Mykolaiv described the attack. An hour ago, we were bombarded in the center of the city. Uh, a hotel uh, was destroyed and uh, one bomb fell in, in the center of the city, right in park where kid, ki, uh, kids were playing. The Ukrainian port city of Mariupol getting bombarded by Russian forces as they desperately try to control it. The latest maps show Russian forces stalled in several locations. A report from the Institute for the Study of War warns the situation could become a bloody stalemate as Ukrainian forces put up a strong resistance. Those plans for a quick uh, territorial victory uh, have been thwarted as Russia's forces now have remained stalled for more than three weeks. U.S. officials are issuing a warning of possible cyber threats against critical infrastructure in the United States. So I want to reiterate, there is no evidence of any, of any specific um, cyber attack that we're anticipating for. There is some preparatory activity that we're seeing. This as the refugee crisis continues to escalate. Poland has accepted more than 2 million refugees from Ukraine. Uh, Zoriana Maximovich says she told her children they were just going to visit friends. She says they don't understand what is going on, but in a few days they're going to ask, where is their father? She says she doesn't know how she will explain it. The Kremlin has tried to justify this war by falsely claiming that it's intervening to stop genocide. Abusing the term that we reserve for the gravest atrocities, disrespecting every victim of this heinous crime. And a Kremlin newspaper published the death toll for Russian troops in Ukraine, saying nearly 10,000 dead. Well, soon that article vanished and was reposted without that information. The newspaper claims it was hacked. Reporting live, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Carlos, thank you. UNICEF is working in Ukraine and throughout the region to provide urgent aid and assistance. You can support the effort through unicefusa.org slash ABC. You can also support humanitarian relief through the Red Cross. Go to redcross.org slash ABC.